Well, in Spain, public service workers are striking today to protest against budget cuts. It's the biggest walkout since Prime Minister Zapatero came to power in 2004. Well, as Jason Harris reports, the strike is seen as a test of the government's resolve to implement tough austerity measures. Indignation. That's the reaction to the government's plan to cut public workers' pay. And today, more than three million public workers will walk off the job for a day. Carlos has worked in public services printing money for 30 years. He stands to lose about 80 euros a month. The way he sees it, that makes him responsible for someone else's mistake. The pay cut for the public sector is unfair. It's obvious that neither we nor any other workers in Spain are to blame for the current crisis. It is mainly a crisis of the financial and banking systems. Spain was already on a budget cutting path last month when it announced an additional 15 billion euros in savings over the next two years. The most controversial measures, a 5% pay cut and a pensions freeze starting next year. Workers may also have to stay in their jobs longer and a new child subsidy for moms will be phased out in 2011. We think there are other alternatives to be considered rather than resorting to pay cuts. The first one would be to increase income, not through taxes. This is not the right moment to do it, but by combating fraud. Today's walkout by public workers may be followed by an even bigger challenge by the government. The unions are planning a general strike if the labour reforms make it easier and less costly to sack workers. Negotiations have been at a standstill for weeks. The government and unions are heading for a showdown in about 10 days' time. That's when Prime Minister Zapatero says labour reforms will be approved, with or without an agreement. For now, Carlos and millions like him will have to do their part cutting back on their own spending to help Spain live better within its means. Jason Harris, Bloomberg News, Madrid.